Marcus Mark 2. And again he entered into Kafar Nahum after some days. And it was noised that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together, so much so that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed, wherein the sick of the palsy lay. And, rather, when Yahusha saw their belief, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, your sins be forgiven you. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there, and reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but Yahuwah only? And immediately when Yahusha perceived in his Ruach that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Your sins be forgiven you, or to say, Eth, arise, and take up your bed, and walk. But that ye may know that it is lawful for the son of Adam to forgive sins on earth, he says to the sick of the palsy, I say unto you, Arise, and take up your bed, and go your way into your house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all. So much so that they were all amazed, and glorified Yah, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. And he went forth again by the seaside, and all the multitude resorted unto him, and he taught them. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Chelef, sitting at the receipt of custom, and said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass that as Yahusha sat to eat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Yahusha and his Talmudim. For there were many, and they followed him. And when the scribes and Parashim saw him eat with publicans and sinners, they said unto his Talmudim, How is it that he eats and drinks with publicans and sinners? When Yahusha heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And the Talmudim of Yahuchanan and of the Parashim used to fast, and they come and say unto him, Why do the Talmudim of Yahuchanan and of the Parashim fast, but your Talmudim fast not? And Yahusha said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. No man also sews a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled it up takes away from the old, and the rent is made worse. And no man puts new wine into old wineskins, else the new wine bursts the wineskins, and the wine is spilled, and the wineskins will be marred. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. And it came to pass that he went through the fields on the Shabbat, and his Talmudim began, as they went, to pluck the heads of grain. 
And the Parashim said unto him, Behold, why do they on the Shabbat at that which is not lawful? And he said unto them, Have ye never read what David did when he had need and was hungry, he and they that were with him? How he went into the house of Yahweh in the days of Aviathar, the high priest, and did eat the showbread of Yahweh, which is not lawful to eat, but for the priests, and gave also to them which were with him. And he said unto them, The Shabbat was made for man, and not man for the Shabbat. Therefore the son of Adam is Adonai, also of the Shabbat 